Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video this is Tariel Sultan in this video we're going to review another app sumo deal this is an AI content writer called the Neuron Writer what makes Neuron Writer special is it's an advanced AI content writer and editor that comes with NLP recommendation in this video let's review in and out on this app and we're also going to write an article from start to finish I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on this app and you will be the judge whether if it's worth getting into without further ado let's get into it First and foremost, let's quickly review this deal. So their main focus is SEO heavy. So these articles are sending out a really good indication and signals to Google when they crowd your article or your blog post. Then scroll a little bit further down. And this is the feature of the plan. It comes with two projects. Project is basically like domain and it comes with a 25 articles per month. You can write 15,000 monthly credits for AI and this can generate around 15,000 to 75,000 words depending on the quality or I guess the length of the word and then draft generator and from there you can always stack to two codes and receive five projects 50 and 30 right here I got one code this is my dashboard this is how the dashboard looks like here is really simple first of all you want to adding a new project and once you're punching your domain and then from there you want to choose the default search engine which is United States in this case and default language is English once you're done with that click on create once the project is created it will bring you straight to the dashboard what you want to do here is you want to start with a new analysis basically Basically, it's a keyword that you want to write an article about and before we even write an article we need to know if it's difficult to rank right if it's too difficult to rank like here AppSumo this one keyword has so much competition it's a hundred so there's no point of writing article going after these keywords on the other hand AppSumo review you can see the difficulty is 40 and now let's come to Google Keyword Planner because I input something called AI writer and let's write an article around this subject How However, I want to find something that's easier to rank. So first and foremost, you can see here, this is a yearly change. And look at these keywords, 900% increase, 900% increase. This is basically writing with AI. So that kind of shows you that people are searching up these keywords. There's a big demand in the market, right? And scroll down a little bit here. I found one keyword called best AI content writer. I'm going to punch in here, create a new analysis. I'm going to enter this keyword and let's do with the United States and English. Let's click on start. Here is a progress bar of Neuron Writer crawling this keyword to find if it's a potential opportunity to write an article. So you can see here, best AI content writer, difficulty is five. That's a really good indication of we're going to target this specific keyword and we're going to write and content on this keyword. And on the right hand side, this one keyword comes around 100 to 1000 search volume per month and it had a 900% increase since the yearly change now I have narrowed down to this specific keyword I'm going to write the content about and let's click on view to see the results as you can see here this is a more simplified version to look at the search result under this keyword in US search engine and right away it tells you that the second and the seventh position these two links or these two pages they have a pretty decent content and here you can also check the length of the words from this column let's select the top 10 by default and move on to the next stage and now it directed me to the content writer or editor page here you can see on the right hand side for writing an excellent article I need to be able to cover all these keywords the more I cover the better and it will give me a higher score also keep that in mind you can't really overdo it for example copywriting recommended to mention three to 14 times or create content mentioned two to six times so these are the indication to Google that this blog article has a really strong signal in terms of these keywords or NLPs giving a good signal to Google so it can rank you faster and now let's start generating these articles what you want to do is click on draft in the content idea list here is all the h2 headers you can cover h1 h2 h3 as you want but if you think about it mainly one blog article has one h1 so all the sub headlines should be h2 so it's a correct to go with the h2 headers what I'm going to do now is go through this list to find interesting topic or h2 headlines I want to write about on my article and I want to add them into the article layer out the window here. As you can see here, this is the nine different headlines I've inserted from the right to the left. And it also included these keywords. And keep that in mind, these H2 headlines already exist on these sites, right? It's pulling from them. It's also reviewing the paragraph and pulling the best keyword. It's telling the engine when you try to write this topic, try to include 
as much of these keyword as possible. So everything is good to go. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have a nine different headlines. Now, all you need to do is click on copy to the editor and then it will automatically deploy all these headlines into the editor. You can see these headlines alone, we have scored 16 out of 100. And these are the green ones are the one we have already checked. And now what we need to do is we want to write them individually. If I click on expand notes, this is the heading and as well as try to include these keywords now what i'm going to do is click on beta generate and click on it once here you can see heading try to include these keywords everything's in here all you need to do is click on generate here's the first paragraph came out you can give it a read and it's pretty awesome actually it just and later on we're going to use some other tricks to check for plagiarism as well as um, output detection to see if google thinks this article is written by ai or actual human right because google really is smart because they know a particular article was generated heavily manipulated by ai tools tools or it's uh, organically original content written by a human. So be careful with it. You don't want to write a whole bunch of these AI article and just publish on your website. And suddenly you thought you're putting these out to rank in my do the opposite basically hurts your ranking and all that so be careful with what you do and you always want to double check triple check and i also want to manually write some words to blend them in between so this way it's a kind of mixture of a whole bunch of content together it's more organic that way versus heavily ai generated right so once i'm happy with this generated text i'm gonna click on used text it will deploy this text right underneath this headline i can just collapse that for now let's keep doing these for the remaining headline I have finished the entire process on generating the paragraph underneath the each headline. So basically this is it. So far I have got the score of 27, still a little bit way to go. So the next process, what I'm going to do is actually go through these basic keywords that's recommended. You want to pack as many into these paragraph or sentences as possible. And you want to do the right amount of the keyword too. You don't want to overdo it. And now they have a one cool feature you can do is if I say content creation here, if I click on it once, I I can copy this term to my clipboard. I can go into these words to find similar terms and basically just swap that term into content creation, you know? So this way it will count as one there. And another feature here is highlight the term in text. Click on it once, it will highlight underneath the blue where that specific term appeared. For example, the writing tool here appeared too many times, 11 times. I can click on it once, highlight the terms in the text, and then you can see so many times I mentioned writing tools, writing tools, writing tools, writing tools. This could be a too much repeative keyword that's a not good of an indication. What you can do is change that word to another word like softwares or tools, right? That makes sense. It's not that exact word. You can see here it was 11 and now it dropped down to 10. What I'm going to do now is to insert some other paragraph or to keep generating other paragraph and to insert as many of these keyword into the entire article or paragraphs. The whole purpose of it is to bump up this score from 27 to at least 50 and above. So this way the article would have a better content score. All right, that was pretty much it. So what I did is I added another layer of content and information that try to pack as many keyboard as possible to boost the score a little bit further. You can really spend some more time here to really bring that 40 to like 50, 60, 70. The higher the score is better. And keep that in mind that here is their entire editor. You can add a whole bunch of thing, add a photo, graphics, and a whole bunch of things. The readability of your article, if it's hard to read or if it's too many vocabulary that people don't understand, and once you're happy with everything, you can always click on save and export as an HTML file. So you can straight upload to your blog article sites like WordPress or Wix or Webflow and you can just direct integrate or import your article that way. So I'm going to click on save for now. From there, top left corner, this is content writer. Let's go to the second one says top analysis. Click on it once here. It shows you the keyword difficulty, how difficult it is to write this keyword. And here is top rank search result in including the Moz page authority, domain authority. You want to spot on the opportunity that a page is ranked number one, but the authority is not too high. So this kind of opportunity will present itself. So you can immediately spot on that the second article has a way higher content score than the third one. For example, third one only has a 34. And you can also check for a competitor structure, how H1 looks like and how the, all the H2 headlines look like here. And you can check all the top 10 search results. And you can also discover other keyword ideas. 
So overall, what do I think about this app? I think Neuron Writer is a great app if you are a serious blog writer. And I think this app is perfect for a blogger or somebody that's a professional writer that want to produce content. Meanwhile, you want to come target your content from the SEO perspective. I think one of the best feature of this app that makes them stand out is the market research. Think about it. In order to write a good piece of content, you need to do decent amount of market research to know what kind of article that's a ranking currently out there. So specific feature I'm talking about here is pulling the headline, H2 headlines, to insert it into your own blog article. That's a, such a joy just to go through the top 10 article and their best H2. And literally, you pick the ones that you want to write about, you want to extend about, and you just literally click on add. It will start adding these headlines into your article. This really makes Neuron Writer an excellent app. With that said, though, there's no such app App called a perfect app and I think I want to mention a few cons or things I feel like Neuron Writer can improve on hopefully this is gonna make them uh, even a better app from there so you can see the first thing is if you come to draft you can see it here we are pulling out the h2 headlines right when I add these we can add these keywords no problem however once I introduce h3 into the mix you can see here we don't have try include following terms such a feature here and I'm sure the team will include this down the road because right now h2 2 is on a beta, right? Once the beta is done, they're probably going to include the H3. Second thing is that in order to reach higher content score, you really have to sit down here to write some sentences to make sense and pack them as much as possible in terms of the quantity and the quality of these keywords, right? It took me about 20 minutes to come up with a few sentences and some paragraphs. Still, I wasn't able to bring the content score a little bit higher, right? I thought I've done uh, a good job here and turned out I only brought up to 40. My last question is, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this app is cool? If it's worth it, what do you think the pros and cons of it? Drop some comments in below. I love to give it a read and give it a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.